Many patients are confused and concerned about what an IVF cycle will involve and it used to be a lot more medications and injections and drugs. Nowadays um, an IVF cycle is often down to just about two weeks. Day one, a blood test to check that the lady can start on the process, followed by five days of usually one injection a day of follicle stimulating hormone to make all the follicles grow inside the ovaries, followed by about three or four days of two injections a day. And the second injection is to block ovulation to stop the eggs being released early because that will ruin our cycle. So it's five days of one injection a day, often three or four days of two injections a day. Patients give the injections themselves because they're easy to give. They're not as painful as people think they're going to be. It's a small amount of fluid. And during those nine days, it will often involve a blood test on day four and a blood test and ultrasound about day eight. All done at Janea between seven and nine in the morning and people go off to work and then we tell them what the results mean in the afternoon. If someone was ready on day eight today, for example, for egg collection, they would have a call to say, have your trigger injection tonight. We give them a specified time and then we collect the eggs 36 hours later. So from Thursday at 8 p.m. injection means Saturday at 8 a.m. egg collection. We go in and we collect the eggs just before natural ovulation, well, before ovulation would occur. That would happen about three hours later, say 11 o'clock on Saturday morning. And that's the time that we'll actually put the sperm and the eggs together because that's when the eggs would naturally be released and the sperm and the eggs are put together in the laboratory at that time. The embryo transfer um, is quite a simple technique. Ladies come in with a full bladder, which is often the most uncomfortable part of the process because they're trying to judge when they should get there, how full their bladder should be. Um, the reason for the full bladder, to lift the uterus out of the pelvis so that when we do a scan on the tummy, we can actually watch as a as I place the catheter and the embryo directly into the uterine cavity, so it's placed in the correct place. A little speculum inside um, the vagina, just have a look at the cervix, and then pop the little plastic catheter in while watching um, on the abdominal ultrasound to check that the embryo is going into the right spot. And then at the end, 11 days later, is a pregnancy test. So the whole cycle fits into a month, but it's intense for the first two weeks. Injections for eight days, of which maybe three days might be two injections a day. Two or three blood tests and ultrasounds, day one, four and eight. The egg collection, day 10, with local anaesthetic and some sedation. Embryo transfer, day 15, and then pregnancy test, day 26. It doesn't all fit in like that exactly for everybody. That's the rough idea how it will work, and no one fits exactly on specific days because if they did I wouldn't be working Saturdays and Sundays.